Okay, hi, I'm Kristen Fitch with Ziggity Zoom, and today we're going to be talking about junior achievements via technology entrepreneur, lesson four, what's my advantage. Today we're talking to Patty Hamilton with Hamilton Consulting Solutions Corp, and we would like to learn a little bit more about you, Patty. What would you like to share? Well, thank you for having me. The company is Hamilton Consulting Solutions Corporation. We're mostly a Department of Defense, um, DOD, uh, Coast Guard, Department of Homeland Security service company. Mm -hmm. We started back in 2008 after my extensive background in government and then government contracting. So we kind of built around what my personal background was, mm -hmm. and that was in project change and knowledge management. Also, IBMB, which is independent validation and verification, which is software testing. So we kind of wrap around the developers. A company develops the software. We go out and do the requirements analysis, what that software needs to do. And then we come back and, and we do the testing to make sure that the software is meeting the requirements. Mm -hmm. That's our major swim lane for our company. We also do other um, IT projects. We're getting into some unmanned vehicle, which is um, really exciting for us. Futuristic type stuff that I um, can't talk a lot about right now because it's still being developed, but uh, it's got a lot of advantages to being in the spot right now. So let's jump right into the lesson today about what's my advantage. And what would you like to share to start out with, with the students on how they figure out what their product or services advantages are? Well, first of all, you, you have to know what you know. You have to make sure that you have a background or you have partners that have a background in that product or service. Um, if you've got a strong sales background, don't you know think that I'm going to jump right into an IT uh, company because you don't have that, that solid background to base your your company's needs off of, or if you don't have that, know people that you can pull into the company to help you with that. Um, you need to make sure that you can differentiate yourself from other companies, so you have to do your due diligence. You have to go out there, do your market research, find out who's out there, who's selling what to whom, and then you have to go, if you, like for ourselves, we're a government contracting agency, so we go out and talk to the different Air Force small business liaisons for the different agencies with the within the Navy, Air Force. Our strongest um, work is with the Navy right now. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of small business um, officers and liaisons within the government agencies that you can go knock on their doors. Mm -hmm. There's also different agencies just in general like the Small Business Administration, the PTAX. You know, you can go talk to them and find out what the advantages are to you know their services. Mm -hmm. But make sure you know if you're going to build a widget, you, know, you need to know who else is building that widget and who they're selling it to. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to go out and, and associate yourself with different um, associations that are connected to that what you're doing. Like for instance, for us, we are strong in the AFC, which is the um, the uh, Armed Forces and Communications Association, and that's the link between government and contracting. We also are involved with uh, TGIC, which is the Tidewater Governance Industry Council, TASC, which is the Tidewater Association of Service Contractors. So we went out and found out what associations dealt with the products and the services that we were associated with, mm -hmm. and that way you can meet a lot of people, you can do a lot of marketing, a lot of networking, and that's you've got to make sure that you market your, you figure out what your differentiation is for your company. And so let's talk a little bit about, you know, from the perspective of the students, they're going to be walking through the seven lessons, and we're sort of midway through with this one, which is what's my advantage. So they've come up with their business concept, either a product or idea, they've decided who their customers are, and now they're trying to decide how do I understand how my, my idea fits in against the competition, if you will. So any ideas there on uh, what they should do to analyze or evaluate this part of the process? Well, it's always good to talk to people that have been in the industry. It's always good to go out and connect with those people that have done this type of work. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mentorship programs that you can get connected with. Um, the Department of Defense actually offers a, a mentorship program for companies, larger companies that have a contract already, mm -hmm. and they'll bring in a smaller company to be the, the um, 
mentor E, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they actually pay that larger company for them to do this service for you. And it's a great way for you to get to learn um, the whole process. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's a lot of advantages to um, taking that time to get into a mentorship program with another company. Mm -hmm. And then what, what else, as far as do you see any differences between uh, looking at the advantages of a more traditional starting a traditional business versus a technology focused business? Well, technology is the future. I mean, it's just everything's streamlined now, everything's automated now, so it only makes sense that it's just going to keep growing. We're involved with a company right now that has developed this application for the law enforcement agencies to utilize and it'll help streamline them doing investigations mm -hmm. and it, there's just more and more ideas like that out there that just helps to streamline the processes for for any type of business. Mm -hmm. So you know the days of you know, writing on a tablet or just about done. You're not right. going to see pencils probably made anymore. So, don't be looking to start a pencil business. <laughs> you right, know? right. Technology is the future. It's been the future for a while, and it right. just keeps growing and keeps streamlining. So, if you can find your your niche in the industry of the technology industry, you know, capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to share about this lesson before we move on to talking about careers? Well, I think that this um, it is is it a very important um, to know, you know, know that industry. Do your due diligence. Make sure that you you figure out what your secret sauce is. Right. It always helps if you have an individual little niche. I know a company that has grown off of just a small little application mm -hmm. that they thought of. They went out and, and got some investors to help them build that little product, mm -hmm. and it's grown into a multi-million dollar business mm -hmm. because they stuck with what they knew and what they were after instead of you can't be everything to everybody right. so if you could, you've got to stick with what you know mm -hmm. um, it doesn't hurt to go out and explore other options and and different avenues like it's example for us because we're so strong DOD and with the government shutdowns and sequestration mm -hmm. and furloughs um, you know we've expanded into other areas like the state and local agencies right, right now just to doesn't hurt to look at the, make sure you have um, plans B and C <laughs> but when you're starting out, it's best to have that that kernel or the essence that's different differentiate you. Absolutely, okay, great. So, what would you like to add as far as uh, benefits of a high tech uh, technology career, or thoughts or advice you have for our students about a career in high tech? Well, I think it's really important to get that education, either a technical school while you're still in high school, the technical schools. Um, you don't have to necessarily, I know a gentleman that started a billion dollar business that never went to college. Right. But to have that, if you're going to have a business, you really need to absolutely know the whole realm of running a business. Mm -hmm. So it, it really helps if you have a legal knowledge and accounting knowledge and, and then that way you can assist your company in growing. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you are just a real solid techie type person and hire people to do those other things and stick with your techie mm -hmm. because those those are um, you shouldn't waste that knowledge and it's it's good to keep keep it tuned because things just keep changing and you just have to keep up the, the new knowledge that's coming out with the trade magazines I mean I never used to and boy I'll tell you what it really teaches you a lot to get um, keep involved right Great. Well, and I know uh, after this lesson we'll finish a few more, but we look forward to uh, seeing the students soon. Oh, absolutely, and we look forward to seeing everybody at the Shark Tank. Okay, thanks. Nice. Good job. Good job. How'd it sound, Dave? Sound good. That was the best segue into the Shark Tank we've had. Okay, good.